He's Phoebe, and he lives in Perth, making super videos for all his work. His channel is great, he's a good mate with Bella, fell so the hesitate. G'day, beer lovers. It's our old mate again here. VB Ed. In the state of Western Australia, where I live, we always have big issues about funding, about taxation. You know, look, we're a growing state. You know, we're the powerhouse economy of Australia. But there's always a shortage of money to build projects. You know, we need money for railways and roads, schools, just basic, basic infrastructure around the place. And there's always a shortage of money. You know, the federal government doesn't give Western Australia its fair share. So what the state government here does is as a way of supplementing the income is to increase the fines, the speeding fines, traffic fines, parking fines, you name it. They're always constantly increasing the fines, buying more speed cameras, installing it around the place. And the fines are getting huge, you know, and when you do get a fine, you know, they only give you like 14 days to pay the fucking thing. Yeah. And if you don't pay it by a due date, then it goes up. All these administration costs that apply to it. Now, a lot of these fines, it, it, they're bloody impossible to pay if you're a low income earner, if you're unemployed. So what's been happening is the people that can't afford to pay fines, they've just been ignoring them. They just can't pay them. I don't bloody blame them. Now, as a result, the government reckons there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars in outstanding fines that have not been paid. Yeah, which is, which is causing them problems because they, they were expecting all that money to come in, you know, and you know, their, their budget is basically stuffed as a result. So what they decided to do a few years ago was to force people to pay their fines. And they've said, well, if you don't pay your fines, you're going to go to fucking prison. I've got rights. I want to see my lawyer. Come on, let me out of here. Come on, let me out of here. I promise I'll be a good girl from now on. <laughs> They're going to chuck you in jail. And, they, and then they worked out this formula and they said if you get chucked in jail they will credit you $250 per day which then it gets applied against your outstanding fines. Well, that, guess what's happened? <laughs> People have worked out, I'll take that fucking option, that sounds better. <laughs> Rather than paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars in fines. And so what people do is they check into prison, say on a Friday, spend a couple of days in prison, you know, where people are cooking for you, watch TV for a few days just to put your feet up, come out of prison on the Monday, Tuesday, and all your fines are gone. <laughs> See, this is the thing. They get credited $250 a day while they're in prison, get worked off their fines. But it costs the fucking taxpayer $350 a day just to put them there. Where's the sense in that? So what do you do? How do you force these fuckers to pay their fines? Now, one, one school of thought is just take away their cars. Confiscate their cars until they pay their fucking fines off. Well, you know, recently our federal treasurer, Joe Hockey, when he increased the price of petrol, you know, by increasing the fuel excise, there was a big uproar by the poor people. And, and, that, and that prick said, well, poor people don't have cars, so it's not an issue. <laughs> it's like saying, poor people don't have cars, they steal them. <laughs> Total bullshit. Okay, so that's an option. Maybe we just confiscate their cars. 
or force them to do social work, community service. But the best way of doing it is taking it out of their payments. You know, take it out of their welfare payments. However, all the goody-goody two-shoes, you know, all the social welfare people in the state said, you can't fucking do that. That's just totally unfair. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. <laughs> they reckon last year, 1,100 people decided to work off their fines by going to prison. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? So what do you guys reckon? What do you do about these fuckers out there that don't pay their fines? You know, I pay my fines. I suppose you do too. But what do you do with these fuckers that refuse to pay their fines? Hey? Eh? What do you reckon? What do you, what do you reckon we should do? Hey, I've just thought of an idea. Do what the British did in the 1800s when they got rid of all their criminals. What they did is they cleared out their prisons in England and sent them out to Australia, right? What I reckon we should do in West Australia is send all these fine defaulters, all these fuckers, to somewhere horrible. Send them to fucking Brisbane.